Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be testing out and reviewing the new designer brand's ICU eyeshadow palettes. They come out with six palettes and each palette contains six shades. They retail for $12.99 each and designer brands is cruelty free and vegan. I'll give you a close up of each palette now. This one is Fired Up. This one here is Car Keen. This is Make It Mauve. This one is Coco Loco. Here we have Smoke and Glitter. And this one is Sea Breeze. So as you can see, there are a variety of cool and warm tones, which is really great. I have swatched a couple of the shades and they do swatch really beautifully, but as we all know, swatches are not always a good indication of how they perform on the eyes. I don't know if you guys watched my Models Prefer Sunsetter palette review, but they swatched really beautifully and then it was just disastrous on the eyes. So I really hope these are not like that because I am loving the shades. I think my favorite palette, mm, I really like Kakeen and Make It Mauve. So ooh, let me know what your favorite one was down in the comments. All right, well, I'm going to zoom in and get started on testing out these eyeshadows. All right, I've just put on some eyebrows and now I'm going to prime my lids with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade 08. And then I'm just going to lightly set my base with some powder. So having a look at the palettes, I think I might go in with the Make It Mauve palette or mauve, however you say it. I might put some of these shades through my crease. And then I think I'm going to go in with this blue here from the Sea Breeze palette and maybe pop that on my lid. I don't just want to be boring and do like a brown and gold look. So let's go with that and see how it goes. So I'm starting out with my Sigma E35 Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm going to go straight in with this shade. There seems to be a decent amount of pigment on that. I'm just going to tap off the excess. It seems to be nice and pigmented. I'm just going to pack that throughout the crease and then blend that one up nice and high. All right, well that shade has blended beautifully and the pigment is still there. Nothing worse when then you pack a shade on and once you start blending it out, the color just fades away with it. And then from that same palette, I'm going in with my Sigma E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush and I'll take this shade here. I'm going to pack that onto the outer corner and blend it through the crease, but I'm not going to take it as high as I did with this shade. The dark shades are what make me nervous. <sighs> that is seriously blending so easily. Wow. I'm pretty happy with how that shade worked out. It is a little bit harsh here. So I'm going to go back in with my fluffier brush and that first shade we used and just go over that harsh line to try and blend it out. I'm going to attempt a cut crease cause I think that will look a lot nicer with the really bright blue shade. So give me three hours and I'll be right back. Wow, 
that didn't even take me that long. <laughs> Who am I? All right, and that's that eye done. It's a bit more messier than this eye, but don't worry, we'll fix it. So I'm just going to use a dry brush first and see how the pigment goes. This is the Sigma Medium Sweeper E54. Not bad. Oh yeah, that second layer really made it pop. Okay, that is so shimmery and I didn't even use any Fix Plus. This eye, I don't really like the shape, so to fix that, what I'm going to do is grab my Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush and I'm going to very lightly dip into this dark shade we used and then gently go across the crease to try and erase any mistakes. So you can see here this concealer, I don't want that there. So just going to cover that up and get rid of it. I also have a bit of a bump in this line, so I'm going to go over that. I'm just going to do the same thing on this eye to really define that line. And then back in with the E45 small tapered brush and that same dark shade to blend these two shades together. This is the part I have the most trouble with when it comes to a cut crease, so I hope this works. I'm just patting that darker color onto the outer corner and then with that tapered tip, blending the shimmer and the matte together. I'll even dip into that first shade we used and put a little bit of that on there as well to try and help it blend. Here is a close up of what that looks like so far. All right, they are the lids done. I am so impressed with these eyeshadows. Like, look how shimmery that blue is and those mattes blended in with each other so well. <gasps> this is exciting. All right, I am going to Finish the rest of my face and I will come back and we can finish the lower lash line. Okay, hi, editing Tanika here. So when I downloaded all my footage, the last file had corrupted and that file contained me doing my lower lash line and my final thoughts. I was going to scrap this video and film it again, but I can't really film my first impressions for the second time. So I thought I'll just insert some photos of the finished look and I'll just update you now on my overall thoughts of the palettes. So I was very impressed with these palettes. They were pigmented, they blended well, and the color didn't blend away either. As I raved about, the shimmer shadow performed so well, I didn't even need to use Fix Plus with it. I feel like they did a really great job at selecting the shades in all the palettes. I can look at each palette and easily come up with some eye looks. And I love the fact that they included mattes and shimmers in each palette. I also think it's really great how you can mix and match the palettes, exactly what I did in this video. A lot of the colors work well together. I am so excited to try out the rest of the palettes and see how they go. I will keep you updated over on my Instagram, so make sure you come follow me over there. Well, let me know what your thoughts are on these palettes down below in the comments. They are available at Chemists here in Australia. If you're international, I'm not sure if you can get them in store, but you can shop through the designer brand's website and they do ship internationally. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I'm aiming to hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so help me do that and join the fam. I hope you're all having a great day. Sorry that the end of this video didn't work out as planned, but I will see you all in the next one. Bye!